Good day and welcome to another tutorial video made by H2O BWT. My name is Emil and I'm the technical manager. Today I'd like to show you how to assemble and commission the EcoSoft Pure Water Softener. We've got it in a 25 litre and a 37 litre. Let's get started. Okay, so every unit gets supplied with a manual which you'll find inside of the unit in the bin. A manual, there's a valve manual, got the power supply, and you've got the connection fittings for your in and out of the back. Okay, so let's start with the assembling of the unit. So you flip the unit around to get to the back of the valve. Okay, you need to take off the top cover. So let me show you how to take off the top cover. Pull this back and push it to the front just basically clips off then you'll get to the valve at the back you've got your inlet and your outlet in the packet like I showed you previously it's got the adapter to bring it down to one to one inch okay and that's how it all comes together I'll show you how to put it together so in the packet for each side you'll have these four pieces, okay? To put them all together, right? That fits in there, Sorry. like that. You fit in your um, clip first. You'll see that there's two rings, one's in the front and one is in the back. The clip needs to go right at the back Trying to get to the back. There we go. Your O ring, very important, goes on in front. And that's how it all comes together. Okay. So basically, just screws in with your O ring. And that reduces it down to one inch. So now you've got your inlet and your outlet one inch. Okay. So pipe coming out from here. That's from your brine well. Goes in the, into the first push fitting there. And then at the back here, you've got a three quarter inch waist. There we go. So that's your waist, and that's your brine injector. Then you've got your overflow in the bin, which gets connected to the drain. I normally try and connect my waste pipe together with the overflow into the drain. So once you've got that connected, you need to put up your power supply, which is your adapter, and it connects inside of the valve. I'm going to show you how to do that. To clip this off, you'll find at the back here, there's two clips. On this side and on the other side. So it basically just clips off. Then you'll get to the front of the valve. So that's the power supply. Okay. Or the adapter. You'll find that on the panel in the front, there's only one place where the adapter fits in and it's got, it's got four connectors on it. Okay, so to fit the, the adapter onto the, onto the panel, basically just clip the panel loose. Okay, so there's one clip on top here, which you clip loose, moves to the front. Okay, you find that there's, this side of the panel can also come off. And it's got two clips here. Clip it this and move it to the front. Okay. I'm just going to move the camera closer so that I can show you where to um, insert the adapter. Show you 
sure you guys can see that. There's a channel right here at the back here, okay? Where the adapter just comes through. Okay. Once you've got it through there, pull enough cable through, because once you clip this back, it stops you from pulling the cable. Okay. Put your control board back. and clip in your power supply. There you go. And it should look like that when you're done. So the next step would be just to clip on the front panel again. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to commission the unit. I'm going to switch it on now. So once you switch the unit on, you'll find that it's in a different language. Um, to change the language, you need to press next and up button simultaneously. You'll see it change. Okay. Just get to English, press up until you see display. Okay. Once you find display, you press clock. Okay, that's the time of the day. Don't set the time of the day yet. You need to get to the back settings to do some other settings first. To do that, you keep you press next and the down button simultaneously for about a few seconds. It will get into mode. You change the auto to manual if you want to do all manual settings, or you can um, keep it in auto. I prefer keeping it in auto. Okay and I'll explain why later on. So when you press next, you can select the type of valve you're using, meaning, um, or the type of media you're using. Um, this is not an Ecomix unit. It's not a filter, it's a softener. So we need to select softener. So when we press next again, it's gonna ask me for the amount of media that's inside of this vessel. Okay, so this is, a, this is the 25 liters, so I'm gonna set it to 25 liters. You can go higher. This is not a 37 litre, this is a 25 litre. Now the capacity, you want to leave this on auto because what's going to happen is you're going to put in your total hardness and it's going to calculate the capacity that the unit can do before it needs to do a regen. Okay, so you want to leave it on auto. So when you press next, it's going to ask you for the, um, the type of setting that you want to put it on, the regen type. So I'm going to leave it on, um, on delayed regen, meaning this unit will regen on the capacity I'll say for example, this unit can do 2,000 liters. Once it reaches 2,000 liters, it's going to do a region, but it's only going to do, going to do a region on the time that I set it. So if I set it to 2 o'clock in the morning, it's going to do a region 2 o'clock in the morning, irrespective of the, the leakage that has gone through the unit. Okay, um, You can set the unit to, to immediate. That means that the unit will do a, a region immediately once it reaches the capacity. Okay. So I like said I like leaving it on um, delayed region specifically for domestic applications. Um, salt alarm. The salt alarm is an alarm that will go off once the, um, the unit picks up that there is not enough salt inside of the unit. So you can set this to maybe 5 kg or higher. Um, I prefer leaving it off because I know once you do the handover of the unit, you explain to your client that they always need to put salt in the unit. But if you feel that you want to put it on, you can switch it on. Um, then the service alarm, this is quite cool. Um, you can switch it on based on, this could, this could be based on time, or it can be based on capacity, so you can base it on both. Um, so all this is, is like uh, an alarm to tell the client, listen, it's been two months or it's been 5,000 liters. Um, you need to call your service agent. They can come in and have a look and see if your unit is still working. So to set that, Press either up or down, put it off. So if you want to set it on capacities, okay, so you can basically set um, the capacity on it. Say, for example, you set it to, to five. 
say 10, um, a thousand kibs, your client will then call you and let you know that you need to come in and service the unit for them. Okay. So in this case, so in this case, we're not going to switch it on. So we're going to put it off. Okay. So now that that has been set, you can set more settings in the back end by keeping the next and the down button for a few seconds until it shows you the mode. Press the next and the down button again. Now it's going to ask you for the valve um, size. Okay, so this is a one inch inlet and outlet. Okay, so valve one and valve two we leave off because that's when you're using um, the unit as a duplex unit. Okay, there's a few other settings on here that you leave off um, if you're not installing the unit as a duplex unit. Um, I'll point it out to you now. If you press next again, auxiliary input, you also leave off if you're not using the unit as a duplex unit because the auxiliary unit, when you put it off, it connects into another controller that will control the duplex unit. Um, total hardness, we try and set this into PPM or we've set it into PPM. You can set it into German hardness as well, but we prefer using PPM. Um, then the region downflow, you can you need to change this to upflow because obviously we're sucking water from the brine bin. Um, we'll be sucking um, the brine mixture from the brine bin into the unit. So we're pulling it up, that's upflow. Post fill, you can you can refill the bin after the regeneration, or you can refill the bin before the regeneration. I prefer leaving it on post fill. That means that the regeneration uh, or the brine mixture um, in the bin will be quite strong, and that's what you want. Um, you want to do a proper region. And then the mixing valve, you want to switch it on. It will be off. You want to switch it on because this is for your blending. This is um, going to be the, the, the quality of the water that you put out. Okay, so switch it on. Um, your brine draw, always leave around 60 minutes. Okay, your backwash time, um, always leave it on one minute. Your rinse time, leave around um, 10 minutes. You can change all of these, but this is preset settings. Um, the fill, so this is the amount of salt that it's going to use when it does a regen. So this is a 25 liter, it's going to use 25k, uh, sorry, 2.5 kg of salt on every region. Okay. Um, the relay one you want to leave off because you only use that when you're using a duplex unit. The relay two you leave off, you only use that if you're using a duplex unit. Um, a duplex unit, remember, is two units um, that will flip flop. When the one is online, the other one is doing a regen. That's basically a duplex unit. So you want to keep it off. Okay, so the unit has been set at the back end now. Now you want to set your hardness and you want to set all the other, um, other settings, okay? So to do that, you keep the next and the up button again. It will show you display. Press next, okay? You want to change your, your total hardness. Let's say total hardness. 250 parts per million okay your service hardness meaning the, the product water that you're going to produce through this unit um, you want to like get it up to let's say 50 parts per million which is quite a, which is a nice hardness okay so now it's going to start blending um, the hardness down from 250 and your water that's going out to the house will be 50 ppm okay so you want the unit to regenerate if it doesn't, if you don't use the unit, um, if you don't use the capacity of the unit, it will regenerate every seven days. Okay, and then this is the time of the the time of the you want the unit to regen. You can set this time as well. Two o'clock. I prefer two o'clock in the morning when no one is using water, which is also the standard time. Um, energy saver. You can leave this on because this once you stop. Um, setting the unit once you've uh, finished doing the settings on the unit um, the display at the back will go off and it will start saving energy 
Okay, so now the universe has been set. Okay, if you want to look at um, the capacities and so forth, press next. That shows you the capacity that the unit can do, which is seven and a half thousand liters based on 250 parts per million. If you press next again, it shows you that the unit will regen in seven days. Okay, if you press next again. If the unit is on, it will show you the flow rate, the water going through the unit into the house. So you can look at the history of this valve as well by keeping in the up and down button, okay, simultaneously. So it will show you the days since the last regen, okay. It will show you the capacity since the last regen, reserve history, it will show you the usage. Um, history, maximum flow rate, and that's it.